there goes one. <laughs> That's the noise you hear when they go slow. That's an electric bus. The, the electric buses are great. They are so much cleaner for the kids, for their breathing. The diesel, they smell more. The electric is clean. They love riding on it. I love going to work in the morning. I love being able to get on my bus and do what I do. It's a great bus to have. Zeeland Public Schools is very proud of the fact that we went forward with an opportunity that was unique and innovative. We have these buses now, the electric ones in our fleet, amongst other buses. Our drivers have taken on the opportunity and they've really been trailblazers with the experience. And our director of transportation is proud to continue the legacy that our former transportation director started with this project. And we just hope to be able to support others that might be looking at those. Electric buses are the future, but they're now. Uh, they're clean running. Your drivers are going to like them. Why not be part of the future and make it now? But then the other thing of it is, is we're transporting America's most precious cargo. And clean air, can you put a price tag on clean air for kids whose lungs are developing? You know, uh, you're dealing with from kindergarten through 12th grade, and we know that their bodies are developing, their lungs are developing, their brains are developing, and the cleaner air they have, the better it is for them. We have our four electric buses, and we have four different routes that they are on. Two of those routes are uh, longer routes. They go more out into the country, and they put on more miles per day than, than the other two. And the other two we keep in town, and they um, handle some of our town routes. The more we read about electric school buses and the more um, that the technology advances, we realize that the range is just getting better and better every year. If we take our foot off the accelerator a little earlier than what we normally would have, we can use that braking system to put a charge back into our bus. I've never had an issue with the charging in the cold. So here we are in an electric bus. Uh, starting this vehicle is similar to starting any other bus. We just simply come over here, we turn the key, we let it cycle through, and then we click start. And our, uh, our display here will tell me that it is ready to go. Pretty quiet, but we are, we are ready to start driving down the road. If I want to coast up to a stop sign, I just take my foot off the accelerator and uh, that dial goes into the positive side, uh, which we we're actually gaining energy at that point. So we we're actually regenerating electricity back into the, the batteries of the bus. We are excited about the future of electric vehicles, uh, both for the environmental impact that they have, uh, the cost savings on fuel, and the experience that our, our schools and our students receive by, by riding on these vehicles. So one of the perks of driving this bus is that our drivers never have to put fuel in the fuel tank. Uh, they simply have to plug them in at the end of their routes. And then when they come back for their next route, that bus is charged and ready to go. All right, at the end of the day, all we do is open that up here, take our charger, plug it in. And then at the top, we see these lights flashing. So then we know that thing is charging and it's, it will be ready to go for us again in a couple hours. Talking about the cost in terms of the savings over the life of the, of the purchase really made sense when we think about 17 cents per mile compared to about 40 to 43 cents per mile for a regular uh, standard operating bus. It does make sense, but we needed those, those supplemental funds to get us through the initial, initial purchase. And we put the process together and wrote the grant. So it was sent to Eagle and put into the award for 70% of the cost of the buses. So 
Each of the districts had to pay close to just over 100000 to be in the game per bus. Put that amount in, so that was a commitment from them, and then Eagle covered the other 70%. This actual grant opportunity was a similar opportunity where we could write not just for Zealand Public, but for other schools that had interest uh, in the opportunity. So I'd say if there's opportunities for us to do that again, we certainly would, and we could give them you know, input from our own experience. But just to consider the impact on the environment, um, the, the shelf life of these, the quiet operation, there's a number of great uh, reasons why this might be something to look at. The manufacturers have been very responsive to us in um, trying to work on this project together and trying to partner with us on these things. When you read about electric vehicles and you read about electric buses and even electric semi-trucks, you think that's far away. And so for our drivers and for our department and for our teachers and for our students here, uh, we get to read about that and see how the country is kind of shifting in that direction and we get to say, yeah, we're already doing that.